What up YouTube? It is your boy All About The Sneakers back with another unboxing and review video for you guys. Now today as you can tell from the thumbnail as well as the title of the video, that is correct guys, we are unboxing the Air Jordan 14 Lane. Now I must say this sneaker was not on my must cop list guys as much as I love the color blue I'm not as much of a fan of blue and yellow together however commemorating or paying homage to Michael Jordan's high school Laney High hey man it was a no-brainer your boy had to have this one in the collection as a sneaker collector and as a fan of Air Jordans how many of you guys went after this sneaker were you feeling this one or were you not I know a lot of the newer generation seems to not really care as much about these sort of OG colorways because this one isn't technically an OG this this is actually a reiteration of a retro OG colorway, which is that Laney colorway that originally came on an Air Jordan 14 low. Now they have turned this into the mid. They also did that with the ginger pairs, but a lot of the newer generation, again, doesn't seem to really grasp that sort of history. It's more of the OG sneaker heads. And I feel those are the people who actually went after this one, not to knock the new gen because some of the new gen people are hip and with the OG sneakers or OG colorways. But a lot of these OG colorways and OG Air Jordans have been sitting around stores comment below let me know if you guys went after this one or not as i like to get you guys thoughts takes and opinions on this and as you know i'm always in the comments responding now guys on that i've been mia for about three weeks at least that's how long it's been since i uploaded a video i've been really really busy working on other occupations and it takes away a lot of my time to do some youtube production but i did want to go ahead and get this video out to you guys as well as i have a host of other sneakers lined up that i did not get to review so i'll probably just throw those into one video and do a quick synopsis on each pair but yeah man that's just how it is guys life gets in the way sometimes and we have other things that we have to focus on so hey took me away from the camera for just a bit but here i am today back again with another banger however guys if you're new to the channel or if you're not make sure you smash that like subscribe and share button and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on future release videos now without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into it all right guys as you can see here we did secure the bag at jd sports big up jd for the w on this one i greatly appreciate it also big up the finish line which is jd's affiliate company also hit there and had a double up on this sneaker but but, hey man, these sneakers are expensive and doubling up is pretty pricey. So I went ahead and let that one go to one of the homies, man. And hey man, big ups to him for coming through, for copping that pair. And I'm glad that I was able to assist someone in the sneaker community. However, here we have the box, guys. As you can see, we have our silver OG Air Jordan 13 box with that red Jumpman smack down in the center on the lid. Now, as much as I'm okay with this mediocre box, and I say mediocre because it's just plain, but I would have preferred to have something that was more fitting for the kicks, maybe a blue box, yellow jump man i think that would have been super dope but unfortunately this is what we got and it is what it is however on one side of the box we have our side sticker and the side sticker reads air jordan 14 retro the colorway is varsity royal black this is a men's us size 10 personal size for me and air jordan and the suggested retail price on this one is 210 us dollars now for 210 us dollars this appears to be an se although it does not say se on the box pretty pricey for me personally i feel like pictures did not do them justice but in person these things are banging However, let's see what we have under the lid. All right, guys, flipping the lid up on this one, as you can see, we just have standard white underneath, and I don't see a lot number or anything like that. Let me get my receipt out of the way. Flipping the tissue paper up on this one, we have our standard white tissue paper. And let's go ahead and get the shoe out. And there we have it, guys, the Air Jordan 14 Laney, a very beautiful shoe, so, so clean. Let's go ahead and do a quick 360 on this one. All right, guys, definitely glad to have this one in the collection. This is a fire, beautiful, clean sneaker. Let's go ahead and go over it in depth here, starting with our outsole. As you can see, we do get a black outsole on this one. Here on our midsole, we do get this sort of pearl-like color going up these little areas here, as well as this rear piece. And it has sort of an iridescent sort of shimmer to it if you look at it closely, but it is very nice. And from a distance, it looks white. Now, this foamy area of the midsole, as well as here, is just plain white. Here on this little vent or wing sort of look here, 
we do have black as well in plastic. Now on up to the upper guys, we do have two different materials. Here we have this very nice vibrant blue Varsity Royal at that. Very, very clean. And this is in new buck material as it extends all the way to the rear. And then here on the toe buys, we have this black suede. Very, very nice. So we get suede and new buck on this one, guys. Very clean. And the suede is very, very low hair, but it does have a very nice, smooth, soft texture to it. Digging it a lot. We also get our Air Jordan emblem there in black. Very nice with a white circle going around it. And going across the top of it, you do have a small hint of yellow or university gold. It does blend well with this piece here, which we'll go over shortly. But other than that, guys, pretty simple for Air Jordan 14. Not much to go over. That does wrap it up for the lateral side of the sneaker. Moving along. And on to the medial side of the sneaker, we get a similar look as the lateral side. Just minus that Air Jordan emblem, and we do have a little bit of a different shape in terms of the panels. But other than that, here on our midsole area, we do get that little vented area, as you can see in there. Just giving it some breathability in the shoe. But that pretty much wraps it up for the medial side of the shoe. Moving along. Taking a look at the shoe from the top down there, you can see on our toe box, we do have that nice black suede. It's kind of hard to tell if it's jet black or if it's a little off nor. At least it looks jet black from here, so I'm going to run with that. But again, we have that black going around our outsole. University gold Jumpman stitch right there on the top, which is a nice contrast to that black and again, blends well with the rest of the color blue and matches well with the rest of the University gold on the sneaker. We'll also get that suede extending of our tongue in black. Black flat laces in place. No additional laces with this one, unfortunately. And on the top of the tongue, here we have that University gold plastic tab. Very, very nice with the Jordan text going across it. Clean, 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 in my opinion. Such a nice contrast. Digging it a lot. Moving along. On to the rear of the sneaker, guys. Very interesting and nice look from the rear. Black here on our outsole. White on that midsole or that pearl-like color, should I say. Here on the tail light area, since the sneaker was modeled after a car, we do get University Gold here as well as here. Very, very clean. Just a nice, subtle hint that gives the shoe that much more definition. We get black here extending up the back from the outsole. We also get our back tab here in black rubber with white two three text as well as the Jumpman logo very very nice contrast to the rear but other than that guys that pretty much wraps it up moving along all right on to the interior of the sneaker tough to see inside of there but we do get a black felt sock liner on this one very nice as well as we get a black insole with the white Jumpman hard to see once again but we also have tissue paper stuff to side as well as our size sticker inside and our size tag on the back of the tongue other than that guys that pretty much wraps it up for the interior moving along all right and last but not at least onto the outsole we have an all black outsole where we do get a hint of white here in the rear as well as we get coming off of each side of the sneaker we get that little yellow circle there with the 14 roman numeral very nice as well as we get a Jumpman logo there in the center on the plastic piece and i'll go ahead and do them justice and turn them a little bit right but other than that guys pretty simple pretty nice for the outsole the fact that it is black and it won't get too too dirty but those white areas yeah you got it coming however that pretty much wraps it up for the outsole moving along all right guys and once again you just saw right here on all about the sneakers the Air Jordan 14 Laney. Again, the mid version, not the low. Very, very clean. So glad to have this one in the collection. All right, guys, there you have it. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think about this sneaker. Did you go after this one? Or are you kind of just veering away from the Air Jordan line in general? As a lot of these sneakers are starting to sit, but this one here hey, eventually did sell out on sneakers. And I believe it was pretty limited because this was not a full family run. It only released in men's pairs and a lot of people were disappointed about that. But hey, sometimes it is what it is. And with that said, I think Think it's going to be tough to acquire this one down the line as it may shoot up a bit but the low is not that expensive and it released some years ago so hey you may get lucky and this one may stay a little under the radar but that does pretty much wrap it up guys so comment below let me know what you guys think about this one again as you know i'm always in the comments responding once again if you're new to the channel or if you're not make sure you smash that like subscribe and share button and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on future release videos now when you guys get a chance head over to ig and tiktok follow your boy on social media at all about the sneaker spell exactly the way it is here on the channel with the Z on the end instead of an S. I greatly appreciate it. But I do want to thank you guys as always for tuning in and rocking with your boy. As you know, I rock with you guys 1000%. However, that is all I have for you guys today on this episode. Until the next episode, keep keeping it all about the sneakers. Once again, it is your boy, all about the sneakers, signing off. Until the next episode, I will catch you guys later. Salute, I'm out.